In high school, every athlete dreams of one day taking their talents to the collegiate ranks. The reality, some make it and most don't. I did not realize my potential as a collegiate athlete until my senior year. My name is Christopher Smith, and for as long as I can remember, I've always loved the game of basketball. The game has taken me on some great highs, and it's also taken me on some extreme lows. But through it all, my love has never wavered. This is my life. This is my experience. This is small ball. After a successful collegiate career hindered by a chronic injury, I never thought I would ever get the chance to play competitively again. With a wife, a son, and another on the way, playing ball seemed even less likely. Then came the Middle Tennessee Storm. The Middle Tennessee Storm of the Central Basketball Association was formed out of the Nashville Christian Fellowship League. Yes, a church league. I know what you're thinking, but this is not your everyday church league. This is my second season with the storm, but it may also be my last. My wife is awaiting her medical residency placement, which may force our family to relocate. Please get your gear as quickly as possible and uh, just stretched out so we can start. So what we're looking for today, we're looking for guys to show effort. And with this particular team, um, you have added responsibility. And that added responsibility is that we represent Christianity. Now that being said, it still comes down to basketball, all right? And that's what we're gonna try to find out today. Other than that, we're gonna get started. Yeah, so uh, we're just gonna everybody down here, get in three lines. Guys, we're gonna get in three lines. Uh, we're gonna get in three At tryouts, I'm as nervous as ever, but once I'm on the court, all nerves subside. It's time to work. At the end of the day, it's up to the organization to decide who makes the team. Most people playing semi-professional basketball have a day job. Mine is that of a high school teacher and a freshman basketball coach. A text message. Now you would think you'd get something more substantial than that. You know, a press conference, a signing day, even a phone call, but a text message? I guess that's semi-pro basketball for you. You know, even better than that, it says we have practice tonight. And that's on the practice day of. Now, in the past, we had a problem getting guys to practice because, you know, it's semi-pro. We don't get paid a lot. So guys will be going to the regular jobs. With the practice being announced tonight, the day of, I'm sure we'll have full attendance. First practice this year, and the gym is bare. Looks like we're off to the same start. All right, come in. We'll go with the same guy. And we did work. With only a few practices before the first game, we didn't have time to spare. March 1st, the first game of the season. 
where it's also Ashton's birthday. This will be my son's last birthday as an only child, and my wife is playing one heck of a party. Unfortunately, it is an away game, but since the game is in Russellville, Kentucky, I can make the drive if I leave the party a little early. Now, I hate getting to a game late, but it's worth it if I can spend some special time with my family on a special day. Bowling Ring always plays this tough, but we're ready. And we needed everything we could muster up. We won the game 121 to 120, and our season was underway. After winning our first two of three, it was time for another big day for my family. Every year, medical students all over the country receive placement for residency on the same day. And this year was the day my wife will get her placement. I'm very proud of my wife, Ashley. She matched at her number one choice, Baylor College of Medicine. This is a great opportunity for her and our family. But this means we must relocate to Houston. So this will be my last year playing semi-pro basketball. I've got to win it all. And still, the days keep passing and practices are hard. And games are harder. For some strange reason, all of our losses are coming at home. Road trips are always exhausting, but we keep winning. Season signings, we continue our dominance on the road. As all puts the run down as Cole. Storm dribble drive baseline with the jam. Johnson gets it poked away. And here's days with the windmill jam. Height down by six. Here's Humphrey. Man to man defense on Poe. Nice move. Brass then move into the three. That's good. My wife supports me at games, and I even get to support her at graduation. And before you know it, we're welcoming a new member to our family. We finished the season 6-4. and four. It's 5-1 on the road and 1-4 and four at home. But hey, it was good enough to get us a second seed in the playoffs, setting us up for our home game versus Fort Wayne, which we won in triple overtime, which put us in the championship game at home versus the defending champions, the St. Louis Hawks. 
We may actually be the first team in history to win a championship on their home floor with a losing record on their home floor. My last Saturday in Tennessee, and there are two things on the agenda. Camden Sip and See and the championship game. The party was great, but I still have work to do. Last one, play together, win together. Pass up top, Dallas Johnson over to Reebok. Eyes the three and buries it. Looking to go quickly. In fact, here's Wilkins Johnson on the left wing, takes it left to the lane. And got the bucket and the foul on St. Louis. But another possession for the storm. Rising up, Patton at the half. Bounce pass and a beautiful pass to Smith. Patton into the forecourt. Patton drives to the bucket. Floater up and in. Corey Hill. Dangerous no matter what. Spend the game. Here's Thrash laying it up too strong off the glass. The putback by Patton is good. Six point lead. Johnson forces it and buries it. Are you kidding me? Johnson with five. The game Johnson went down to the wire. With neither team fires landed. it. No. With one second, it's no good. And the Middle Tennessee Storm are the champions of the CBA. This time, we did it. We won it all. I can finally say I'm a champion. Nowadays, my family and I are enjoying life in Houston. My wife loves Baylor, and I will start my new teaching job soon. I don't know if I may or may not ever play professionally again, but I do know I will never forget my time playing small ball.